Now, dito na tayo sa karugtong. Huwag niyong pangunahan ng takot ito ha. Madali lang ito. Meron lang akong isang dinagdag. Basahin natin yung unang problem dito. What day was yesterday if the day after the day after tomorrow is one day before Friday? Hindi ako prepared. Wait, basahin natin ulit. Tama ba yung nabasa ko? Parang niluloko lang tayo nito, no? Basahin natin ulit. At intindihin. What day was yesterday? If the day after the day after tomorrow is one day before Friday. Now, doon tayo sa technique. Yun ang ituturo ko sa ino kung paano ito sagutan. Isulat natin si today. Ito naman yung yesterday. Yesterday. Tapos yung tanong ay... What day was yesterday if the day after? Okay. Yesterday yung tanong. The day after tomorrow, so ito yung tomorrow, ito naman yung uh, sinasabi dito yung after sa tomorrow. Now, ang given dito, if the day after dito sa day na ito, after sa tomorrow is one day before Friday. So, therefore, ito yung Friday. One day before Friday is the day after the day after tomorrow. Isa pang paliwanag. Balikan natin ulit yung given. What day was yesterday? So, ito yung tanong. If the day, itong day na to, ang ibig sabihin yan, if the day, itong one day na ito. If the day after the day after tomorrow, yung day mismo after tomorrow, ito yung, ito yung, ano tawag dito? Tinutukoy dito. Now, if the day after the day after tomorrow is one day before Friday. So, ngayon ang tanong, it what day was yesterday? Yan yung tanong. So, ito yung Friday. So, kung Friday yan, before Friday, that is Thursday. So, ito naman ay Wednesday. So, ito ay Tuesday. At ito naman ay Monday. So, ang sagot dito ay Monday. Pinopost ko pala ito sa FB group at medyo maraming sumagot na Tuesday. Ang sagot dito ay Monday. By the way, wala tayong answer key nito, kaya posibleng mali ako. Kung meron kayong answer key at maganda, meron kayong paliwanag kung bakit hindi Monday ang sagot dito, please comment down below. Next. As of tomorrow, there are three days until Sunday. Which day, therefore, was the day before yesterday. Uulitin natin yung technique na ginawa natin sa una. Sulat muna natin si today. Today, so si tomorrow. Tomorrow, there are three days until Sunday. Tomorrow, there are three days until Sunday. One, two, three. Now, ang tanong, which day, therefore, was the day before yesterday? So, isulat natin si yesterday. Ang tanong ay before yesterday, so ito yung hinahanap natin. Kung Sunday ito, before Sunday, that is Saturday. Then, this is Friday, and this one is Thursday, then Wednesday, this is Tuesday, and this one is Monday. Again, ang sagot ay Monday. Next. Bago ko pala basahin ito, paalala lang. 
para may matutunan kayo. Bago nyo makita yung solusyon natin o yung sagot sa mga questions na pinopost natin, itry nyo munang sagutan bago nyo tingnan yung solusyon natin. And never memorize the answer kasi hindi yan nakakatulong, kundi yung paraan kung paano sagutan. Pasahin na natin to. If the day after tomorrow is Sunday, what was the day before yesterday? If the day after tomorrow, sulat mo na natin si today. Tapos after sa today, meron tayong tomorrow. If the day after tomorrow, so itong araw na ito ay Sunday. So, ito ay Sunday. So, therefore, itong tomorrow na to, yan ay Saturday. So, therefore, ito ay Friday. Ang tanong, what was the day? Yung araw na yan, before yesterday. So, ito yung yesterday. Before yesterday ay itong araw na ito. So, kung Friday yan, ito ay Thursday. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay Wednesday. Napapansin nyo ba na isang technique lang ang ginawa natin sa pag-solve dito sa tatlong problems na ito? Na sinulat natin yung today, yesterday, at yung tomorrow. Tapos isulat natin kung ano man yung given, kung ano yung uh, sinasabing saan yung mga actual na mga days. Katulad nito na after sa tomorrow ay Sunday daw. So, Simula dyan sa Sunday, backward tayo kaya naging Saturday, Friday, Thursday, at doon na tayo, nakuha na natin yung sagot na Wednesday. At para sa mga bago pa sa channel ko, marami na tayong mga na-upload yung mga kahalintulad na talagang lumabas sa civil service exam, yung lumabas sa AFSAT, yung sa LET exam, kasi mer meron din nag-PM sa atin na lumabas daw yung mga ganun, pero hindi yan let literal, ha? Maraming kahalintulat. Now, kung likes nyo yung the way ako magturo sa inyo yung mga technique, halimbawa kung gusto nyo yung paano isolve yung mga work problems, sulat nyo lang work problems tapos dugtungan nyo sa pangalan ko para mag-appear yung lahat ng mga na-upload natin with regards sa work problems. Like yung ratio and proportion, lagay nyo yung name ko sa ratio and proportion tapos lagyan mo ng lunalin, lahat ng mga ratio proportion na na-upload natin ay mag-appear. Lalo na yung PEMDAS. Marami din tayong mga PEMDAS. Now, abangan ang mga future videos natin. Thank you for watching and God bless.